All right, today we have a car. So we had a request from Grant from Iowa. And the first time I did this, I made a really cute car with a face and eyes. And my daughter saw it and she said, what is that? And I was telling her all about the car and its name is uh, Vector. And she goes, I don't think that's what Grant wants. So anyways, <laughs> I looked into it. A Vector is a real car. So, did research. I, thanks, Grant. I've learned a lot about a vector car. So, I kind of simplified it. So, this is the best we're going to get for today. So, you're going to have your paper, paper vertical. And um, closer to the bottom, we're going to be making this line straight across. So, you're going to be making as straight as line as you possibly can. Eh, kind of straight. And then the top part, you want to make a dome. So it's gonna be a little smaller at the beginning. So we're gonna come up and bring it down. So this is kind of the shape of the car. And the front part, we are going to bring it down like this, come in. I simplified the version. A real vector is um, awesome. You just have to look it up. Okay, so this back side, we're gonna come down and like this, and it's got these cute detail, cute, cool details back here. So we're gonna put those details in there. Okay, and then it's gonna have a spoiler off the back. Okay, bring this in. And then we're gonna make this just come down. It's, it's almost like it's going to the other side. So it's, it's looking like it's over there, it's a spoiler. I'm doing my best here. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna put the Will Wells right here. Let's make one right here. And let's make one about right there. I think the Will Wells are a little bit deeper than that, but we're just, you know what, we're, we're doing our best. I learned a lot about these cars today. Actually, so this is kind of like a vector. And I found out a vector, there was only 20 of them made in the whole world. It's an American supercar. 20 have been made, that's it, 20. Late 1980s to early 1900s. Okay, so we're gonna do our wheels in there. So you're gonna try to get the best circle you possibly can get in there. Do your best to make a circle. And the creator wanted it to remind you of a fighter jet and so much that inside the screen inside is a screen from a fighter jet so it looks like you're inside a plane cockpit yeah crazy huh so we have the two wheels here and this car is so fast so it can go zero uh, zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds some say faster some say slower but it's around there that's fast and it can get up to 110, I mean, oh, 210, 220. Uh, this thing's fast. This is a rarity, it's like a gem. And the components inside, it's tough to get in, it's a tight fit. All right, so we're making the other part of the wheel. This is not for a beginner artist, even I struggle. So there is a, sunroof at the top. So we're just going to put in a rectangle up here. Might make that a touch longer. So there's very few of these in the world. So we're going to make another strip to this. If you guys can see, I'm trying to draw sideways here with my funky left hand. And make it come out. This we're going to make it come out, maybe down angled a little bit more. So now we're gonna put the front wheel windshield here. So I have some jokes here, car jokes. What kind of car do frogs prefer? A beetle. And what do you get when dinosaurs crash <laughs> their car? Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> okay, let's put the front windshield on there. And it has got this very interesting 
side mirror, it almost looks like a triangle. And then we're gonna finish that off and come up. So this is my version of a vector. But I learned something new, so I'm pretty excited there. And it's a little gas tank, which will, I forgot to color gray. It's right there. And it's got some side details. So according to Elite Daily, there is an estimated 7.4 billion people on this earth. There is an estimated 10 billion cars. So there is literally more cars. So we're going to put the designs here on the earth than humans. Wow. The good thing about that is 90%, 95% of all cars and their parts are recycled. Yay for recycle. Okay, we've got the little impression here, and this is just gonna go along the bottom. All right, this is as good as it's gonna get. This is my version. Oh, we got a little detail up here. And right here. All right, let's Sharpie that, this guy. So Grant, sorry, this is as good as it's gonna get. I could probably spend hours on trying to make the perfect car, but I only have about 20 minutes, so this is as good as it's going to get. So you're going to have to send me this when you're done. But if there's only 20 of these in the world, that is pretty crazy. And then my crazy, crazy drawing. But I learned something new. Okay, an average car has 30,000 parts to it. And that's all the little bolts and nuts and lights and everything so if it was a giant puzzle car i'd have a tough time putting that together with thirty thousand pieces i am not necessarily a car person we're going to sharpie everything would i want to try this oh yeah i'd try driving it why not but i have to be able to go really fast and since it can go, what, 210, 220 miles an hour? Yes. Put the helmet on and let's do it. Okay, this is my best shot at my vector. If anybody ever talks about a vector, be like, oh yeah, I know all about the vectors. So knowledgeable. Totally. Anymore. Okay, so back when cars were first made, so back in the 1908, sorry, um, a car cost $825. That is like less than an iPhone for an entire car. That's awesome. Okay, I think we are ready to go around the outside with one more thick line on all of this. And if you wanted a fancy Model T, those ones were $950. So you had to pay a little bit more for that. And my mama's first car was a Volkswagen Cute little Volkswagen. I think it was a red, little red Volkswagen. If somebody gave me a Volkswagen, I would not complain. I think they're so cute. But if I had to have my pick on cars, I'd get a white Jeep someday. But not priority. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I um, drew in the windows so they look like that. I'm just going to color in this wheel well. I'll color in the wheel well. Okay. All right, so we'll get your handy dandy eraser. Erase any of those pencil lines that you don't want. Can you guys even see this? Okay. There we go. Okay. 
super duper. Okay, I'm gonna show you gray and how I got that looking. You're gonna get the gray and we're gonna color some and then just leave out some spots as we're going along. This is how I kind of make it look like it's like a nice shiny window. And go around the outside here. Uh, same thing up here. Color in the roof window. And the same thing I did down here. I'm just going to go quickly around like that and then we can go in with our black and now we can do the tires those are going to be colored all in black Great job. Okay, now let's take the red. Actually, yeah. I'm just gonna color this part in gray a little bit just so it doesn't be all bold like that one is. Um, now try to color all one direction. Put this up here a little bit. Start on one side. Great job. Did I tell you? I don't know if I told you. So the oldest living car, yeah, car was actually living or going, was 82 years old. It was this guy, his name is Alan Swift. And when he graduated, his dad bought him a car. And he loved that car and he took care of it for 82 years and it still worked. That is amazing. They don't build them like they used to, you know? I think he lived like in, um, I think it was in Michigan or something. I read about. I can see some of my, my cars don't last that long because when you put kids in it, I'm sure a kid wasn't playing in that car. A kid definitely is not playing around in a Vector. Do it. Oh, and that new car smell. Oh, I love the new car smell. Well, I've read that it's not the best stuff for you. You don't want to inhale it for terribly long, so I guess it's good that it goes away because it's made of um, assorted vol volatile compounds. Probably not the best thing for you, but the smell, I love the new car smell, so maybe I shouldn't love it as much as I do. I've only had one new car in my entire life. Probably never again, but it was fun. Because unfortunately, when you drive off the lot... Okay, so there's our... Vector, Grant, <gasps> hope that's somewhat what you wanted. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Catch you in the next one.